hello guys welcome to this new blender grease pencil modifiers tutorial i made these fireworks to celebrate the 1000 subscribers on this channel thank you all for being subscribed and for those who are not please subscribe but today we will make this tutorial to celebrate our uh, all grease pencil modifiers videos and to be a conclusion to our grease pencil modifiers series before we start please check my gumroad I have two new downloads. One is the Ended Alien Rig inspired by Peppa Pig and also a mesh 2D character rigged in Blender. This rig supports shape keys, supports shadows and can work the same way from the back and from the front. Even the animation can be made just once and can work from the front and from the back. It has more cool features. Check it here in this video on top or in the description. Thank you very much and let's start the tutorial so here we have just two lines one line is in this flower layer and the other one is in this launch layer these colors were made in here vertex paint so you just choose a color here and paint the parts you want and create the gradients you see here and then we can add some modifiers so the first modifier we add where are you are a modifier and let's choose under influence our flower layer so now we have a duplicate here let's change the count to six since we can't control the rotation of these lines we will choose object offset and disable this one let's go to object mode shift a and add an empty we select our object again we select our empty and voila we can now move it like this and then rotate it i don't know why some of them are smaller so to fix that we will resize the empty like this and move it again and keep it like this for now and let's add a mirror modifier and under influence in the mirror we also choose our flower layer and now we can adjust our empty further and create a better looking flower G and move the empty press shift to have more precise movement you can rotate more with R and then G again and we have this I am satisfied by this look and now what we will need is a build modifier to build these lines so let's add a build modifier and let's test it so we have this let's lower the frames to just 12 frames here and you see that the lines of the flower are not drawing at the same time so we change the mode from sequential to concurrent and now we have this but we still don't want the launch line to be drawn with the flower but before we can try to move the flower frame here a little bit further and see what we get Let's move it a little bit more, maybe to frame 12 since we have 12 frames here. Move these guys here and we get this. And now we want our lines to vanish after they are drawn. So let's add a new build modifier and change sequential to concurrent and then we change grow to vanish. So you see if you select shrink it gets drawn and then it's like shrinking from the top. So vanish and let's test it yeah it's very slow so we change this to 12 and test again we have this and to have like longer lines we will change the start delay to half 12 dot 6 and test again yes i like this so we are almost done there is one detail we can add is that here when the lines are finished drawing here and then they start to vanish they stay at the same place here but in real fireworks they will still go further while they are vanishing from the other side you see so we go here where the stop moving and let's add a new modifier it's the length modifier that will add length to strokes we need some length added to the end of the stroke so here in the start we change this to zero and here in the end we also change it to zero on frame 24 and we add a keyframe and then we go a little bit further maybe like three or four frames and change this to like 0.15 i think it's better to put it before so that the build modifiers work on this new length and not the contrary let's move it to this frame i think and test again yes maybe to the last frame where we can see a stroke and we have this so let's test from the start 
Voila, this is very beautiful. We are almost done. So I asked you before how I can go to frame one with just one shortcut and I got a response from a user. So you just hit shift and then left arrow and you can go to frame one or to first frame of the range you put here. And to go to the last frame, you do shift right arrow. And this is it. It's very easy and very handy. And now I want to add some fade in from this side. We go to our second build modifier to enable fade. Let's go to a frame where we see a long line here and change the factor. But before we change the factor, we change the thickness and a little bit opacity. And then we change the factor and see what we get. Thickness, we lower the thickness from the side, from the side that is vanishing. So you choose if you want only thickness or to add a little bit opacity. And you can change the factor also to have like a smoother fade in. Let's test the animation. Shift, left arrow, play. And we have this beauty. Now we can add some magic, the magical modifier as always, the noise modifier. Choose randomize and change the step to 2. And let's go to a frame where we have a lot of lines. The noise needs to be after the array and after the mirror. If you put it before the array, you will have the same noise in all these strokes. After the array, you will have a mirror of noise here. But after the mirror, you will have random noise in each one of these strokes. Just like the length is best put before the build modifiers. So this is the importance of ordering your modifiers. And let's try our animation again. It's truly magical and beautiful. If you want to play it more, we just have to duplicate these frames and put them randomly in the timeline. So Shift D, we have these frames and we have also the frames of our length modifier. Oh, I need to change back the value here from 0 0.15 to 0 so i go forward one frame and duplicate this frame let's duplicate this frame again here so that's the value here stays zero and then here it changes and then back to zero again let's select these and duplicate a few more times with irregular length or irregular distance between them Very simple and very easy. Now, if you want to duplicate this, select your empty, shift select your stroke, parent your empty to your stroke. Okay, and now you can duplicate the sky and rotate it, resize it, etc. Have it in different places and have different fireworks. And to add different colors, you add, of course, a hue saturation modifier and just play with the hue. So let's go to this frame and change the hue here and we have so this is it guys thank you for watching and see you in another video and peace